Have you ever wondered what it takes to be one of the best tennis players on the planet? Well, if there's one thing the best tennis players have in common, it's their extraordinary eating habits. But for some players, it's more than just a habit. It's a matter of life and death. These are the things that tennis players actually eat. Venus Williams and we have to start with Venus Williams because her diet didn't just help her stay fit on the court, it literally saved her life. Now, if we're being honest, Venus Williams has had an incredible career so far. I mean, the American tennis player has 49 singles titles, 22 double titles, and 7 Grand Slam titles to her name. But here's the real icing on the cake. On February 25th, 2002, Venus didn't just reach number one in the WTA rankings. She became the first African American to achieve such greatness since the 70s. And if you don't think that's impressive enough, she did it during one of the most grueling and competitive periods in women's tennis history. The competition was so tough, even the ball boys were breaking a sweat. But behind the scenes of such a terrific performance, Venus was fighting a battle that almost cost her her career and even worse, her life. It all started back in 2004, when Venus started experiencing symptoms like fatigue and shortness of breath. But being the badass tennis superstar that she was, she just brushed it off like a pesky fly that wouldn't go away. Fast forward to seven years later, and those pesky symptoms started to get worse. So much so that Venus found herself struggling to play professional tennis. That's when things actually got real. In 2011, Venus got the most heartbreaking news any tennis player can get. It turned out that the dry eyes, intense heartburn, migraines, and all the other traumatic symptoms she was experiencing all pointed to one thing. Sjogren Syndrome Now, Sjogren Syndrome is a disease that wreaks havoc on your body's moisture levels. Your own immune system goes rogue, and your white blood cells turn on the glands responsible for producing tears and saliva. As a result, your eyes, mouth, and other parts of your body dry out. In Venus's case, it was worse. She couldn't raise her hands, her tennis racket felt like hard concrete, and she would even break into tears countless times. To top it off, her career ranking dropped from number 1 to 102 by the end of the year. Those times were really dark, but like with dark clouds, there is always a silver lining. And for Venus, that silver lining was food. Good food. You see, Venus switched up her usual menu for a more plant-based one. She dove headfirst into the world of berries, savoring the delightful sweetness of strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. But it wasn't just the fruits that got a standing ovation in Venus's new menu. Vegetables and whole grains also became her BFFs. After going strictly vegan, Venus started to see positive changes. At first, they were small, but that was all the hope that she needed. In no time, she was back on the court, and by the end of 2015, she found herself back to the top 10 female players in the world. Can you believe it? Now that's the power of good food. But you know who else followed in Venus's steps? Her sister, Serena Williams. For Serena, green used to mean yuck, but after seeing how much it helped Venus get her groove back, she decided to give the greens a chance. So, in a recent interview with Women's Health, the tennis legend spilled the beans about her unique approach to food. While Serena has a habit of skipping breakfast, her lunch game is always on point. For lunch, she prefers to combine her greens and proteins. In her words, they're like the power couple that fuels her supercharged days and keeps her at the peak of her game. But it wasn't until after she had her baby in 2017 that Serena fully embraced veggies. She wanted to shed some pounds and focus on healthy eating. So she went vegan, just like Venus. In an interview with the New York Times, Serena admitted that she was only vegan for 44 days. But now she's vegetarian. These days, Serena might be all about eating healthy, but that doesn't mean she's going to deprive herself of her favorite foods. And when she's in South Carolina for their Family Circle Cup tournament, she goes all out, diving into enjoyable meals like there's no tomorrow. After all, who wants to eat kale all the time when you have delicious fried chicken and mac and cheese? Not Serena, that's for sure. Anyways, at least she knows just how to balance it up. And speaking of balance, this next player was so dedicated to his balanced diet 
that he wrote an entire book about it. And that guy is the number one best ranked tennis player, Novak Djokovic. Just like any other professional athlete, Novak Djokovic owes his incredible performance on court not just to his skills, but to his diet. The Serbian has one of the most strict diet plans in the world, and it's all thanks to Dr. Igor Chitovic. You see, while the Serbian was killing it on the court during the day, he was going through hell at night. In an interview, Djokovic confirmed that he had always struggled with respiratory problems. It was kind of like asthma, but a milder version. He mentioned that, over time, these allergies had been getting unbearable. And as if that wasn't bad enough, the tennis court was the place he experienced the strongest impact of these health issues. This was the most depressing time of his entire life. But it wasn't until 2010 that we actually realized how bad it was. You see, while Dr. Chudovic was watching the Serbian play, he noticed that Djokovic was not in good shape. So, after the match, he offered to examine the tennis star. And that was when he realized what was actually wrong. Novak Djokovic was strongly intolerant to gluten, dairy, and refined sugar. And after the examination, the doc realized that Djokovic's breathing difficulties were a consequence of an imbalance in his digestive system. Which meant one thing. The Serbian had to stick to a more healthy diet. We're talking about sticks of vegetables, beans, white meats, fish, fruits, nuts, seeds, chickpeas, and healthy oils. Now, Djokovic is so dedicated to eating healthy that he wrote a book about his diet. He even tossed out everything that stood in the way of his new eating habit. Milk, sugar, soda drinks, red meats, cheese. Hold up, not cheese! Djokovic couldn't toss out the cheese. He loved it. And can you blame him? When you actually love something, letting it go feels like death by a thousand cuts. In fact, he was so obsessed with cheese that he could barely go a day without it. But there was just one problem. Cheese contains everything that his doctor warned him against. Unhealthy fat, bacteria, and milk. He was ready to give up a lot to adjust to his new diet, but no way he was planning on giving up his love for cheese. So he went out and found a type of cheese that would still pass the diet test. And of course, that turned out to be the most expensive cheese in the world, which was made from donkey milk. Yep, you heard me. And just to be sure he would never run out of cheese, he whipped out his wallet and bought up the entire supply. And here's the crazy part. It sold for $1,000 per kilogram. I bet you didn't see that coming. But the good thing is, this type of cheese is said to have anti-allergen properties that makes his plant diet even more effective. So hey, it's like a win-win for him, because he gets to enjoy something he loves and still eat healthy. Well, at least he's not binging on junk food like some players. And by some players, I mean Roger Federer. You see, Federer is that kind of guy that always stands out for being unique. So while other athletes are literally counting calories and weighing their portions like it's a science experiment, Roger is fearlessly digging into whatever the heck tickles his taste buds. Basically, Federer's diet is like a party on a plate that'll transport you to foodie heaven. We're talking about fluffy waffles, cheese, ice cream, chocolate, and pasta so good you'll get teleported to Italy at first taste. Sure, he understands the importance of healthy food choices like whole grains, fruits, veggies, and lean meats, but he always leaves plenty of room on his plate for his favorite sweet dishes. And the best part is that he's a pro at making the best of it while he's on court. Now, if you know anything about tennis, then you should know that matches can turn into grueling marathons that last for what seems like an eternity. So while his opponents are relying on disciplined nutrition, Federer relies on a mix of determination and skill to get his game on. And to top it off, there's a whole team of fitness gurus led by Pierre Paganini that are responsible for keeping the tennis goat in his best shape. So while Federer is cramming food into his face to a stupor, he's also working out to burn all those extra calories. Now that's a king that understands balance. And if we're being honest, this list would be incomplete without talking about Rafael Nadal's diet. When you're as good as the king of clay on the court, you understand that it takes more than just talent to reach the top. It requires discipline, speed, and most importantly, a diet that takes your tennis game to the next level. 
Throughout his magnificent career, Nadal has prioritized a balanced mix of fruits and vegetables in his meals. He understands the importance of nourishing his body with the goodness of nature. But there's one thing that is always on the Spaniard's plate, and that is seafood. He's so obsessed with seafood that he can't have a meal without fish. However, Nadal also recognizes the value of variety. That's why he occasionally adds in chicken to his menu when he feels like switching things up. So there you have it. When it comes to what tennis players eat, it ultimately comes down to personal preference. Different strokes for different folks, as they say. Which of these tennis players would you like to switch diets with? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to learn more interesting things about your favorite tennis players.